All right. So that's uh, much for feedback. Let me just quickly uh, roll on and uh, tell you um, tonight. We're starting off the show with some excellent news. And this time, it's table tennis. Aruna Kodri has been in the news in the last couple of years for all the good reasons. Um, if he's not helping his team to escape the drop uh, in the table tennis league uh, in Europe, he's helping the team to win championships. Um, he's also helping Nigeria to qualify for championships. And uh, the good news is that Aruna Kodri is also raking up a whole lot of fantastic individual awards along the way. Believe it or not, Arnold Quadri of Nigeria has become the first African uh, to top the Commonwealth table tennis rankings. Um, among 277 players listed by the technical committee of uh, the Commonwealth Table Tennis Federation, Arnold Quadri garnered 2,385 points to place first ahead of Singapore's Gao Ning and England's Pitchford Liam. Uh, who have been pushed into second and third place. Um, Africa's most decorated player, six-time Olympian, Shego Toriola, is ranked 12 with 2,014 points. In the women category, no Nigerian is in the top 20. Edem Ophion, Olufunke, or Shanaike are ranked 23 and 26th in the world. So Arnold Kodri, once again, setting that fantastic record, the first African to win the IWTF Star Point and the IWTF Male Athlete uh, Player of the Year a few years ago. He has become the first African uh, to top the Commonwealth Table Tennis Rankings. Congratulations, Alma Kodri. Don't rest on your horse just yet. There's still a lot for you to accomplish. All right, so that's how we start off sports tonight, this Thursday, sounding it loud and clear, congratulating, celebrating our own Aruna Quadri. All right, let's continue now. We told you on this show that every day we will have something to say about the Olympic Games. We are about 36 days away from the Olympic Games. Well, you may agree with the sports minister that preparations have been good. You may not agree. But the fact of the case is that we're really closing in on the Olympics and preparations are beginning to hit top gear. Let's talk athletics now. The Athletics Federation of Nigeria, AFN, have announced that July the 7th to July the 9th, the nation's best athletes will be vying to qualify for the Olympic Games, and that will be in Sapele Delta State. Um, of course, we just came out of the African Senior Athletics Championship in Durban, South Africa, which wasn't too good. We finished in uh, third place behind South Africa and Kenya. But it's time for us to choose the athletes that will go to the Olympic Games to represent Team Nigeria. The president of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, Solomon Ogba, says the decision to hold the trials has become necessary so as to correct what he feels was an unimpressive performance of the athletes in South Africa. All right, so let's pause a little bit, listen to the AFM president, Solomon Ogba, talk about preparation for the Olympic Games and the national trials, and then we'll be back with more for you on Sports Tonight. Join us again. Areas where we have comparative advantage to strike for medals is, is in the relays. I have already said this before. Very few countries can boast of six, four to six uh, average athletes in most of the short sprint and the mid, uh, long sprints that can you can put together. And um, we are we are one of very few countries who can boast of that. And um, if we have that, we must not. Um, lose sight of that advantage, we must try to uh, use it. So that's why we're doing the relays. And we have, we have confirmation from South Africa coming with a full team, four relay teams. We have confirmation from Ghana. We have confirmation from Botswana. You, you know, you, you, because you need to do, have two countries to, with your country to make it count. You know? So and all these countries too, they want to qualify. And the list, of course, of the qualified countries will come out on the on the 12th. So the worry relays will not take part on the 9th. So 7th and 8th will be for our, our national Olympic trials to pick our team. And at least for the first time, let us see how because all the relays will be running, they are makeshift. They are not real. They are not the real team. We are just testing everybody so that everybody is given the opportunity to run. But at least after the national trials, we'll see those who have likely who have made the team. So they can now run for the first time as, uh, as a team, as 
a team going to the Olympics against um, um, other countries. You know, they were really stuck in Nigeria versus the world. So they're going to run for the first time together as a team. And we're also planning for them to run at the Diamond League in Monaco, in the 4 by one in Monaco on the 15th of July. We are working towards trying to get us into the, into the meet. Um, we have also set up standards for uh, those who will participate in the Olympic trials. We don't want to make it an all-commerce thing. Uh, we've done the Golden League fall leg uh, this season, and we've done two all-commerce. So we are going to, we have set the standard. If you don't meet the standard, don't come. One interesting thing about this is that for the first time, I have received more than 20 mails from athletes in the U.S. who want to come for trials buying their own tickets. Because we've made it clear that if you don't have the Olympic standard, we won't give you tickets. Particularly if you don't have it this year, we won't give you tickets. So, so many of them want to come, and because they, they said they've trained and they believe that they can make the team. So, okay, fine. If you come and you make the team, you get a refund. All right, so that's uh, President of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, Solomon Ogwa, um, talking about Team Nigeria's preparations for the Rio. Um, Olympic Games. Uh, we wish Team Nigeria the best of luck. We hope all of these things will fall together for us pleasantly. Um, let's quickly take you across the seas now and uh, take you to Washington. Sonny Young is ready to talk to us on sports tonight. Um, and Sonny Young also is... Um, <laughs> Sonny, good to have you on sports tonight. Is um, counting down to the Olympics as well. Uh, Sonny, we'd like to uh, welcome you to Sports Tonight this beautiful Thursday and uh, find out for you how the fever is catching uh, in the United States. Hello, Toyin, and sporty greetings to all your Sports Tonight viewers. Always great to be back on the show. As you mentioned, Toyin, the countdown continues for the Rio Games, 36 days away to the opening ceremony at the Maracanã Stadium in Rio de Janeiro. Want to give a quick birthday shout out, Toyin, for Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian of all time. Phelps is celebrating his 31st birthday today, Thursday. Last night, Toyin, he officially qualified for his fifth, count them, fifth Olympic team. So we're going to see Phelps again in Rio. Uh, for our viewers wondering, well, how many medals has Michael Phelps won? 22 medals in his incredible Olympic career, 18 gold, mm. two silver, and two bronze. Uh, I don't know where he keeps all those medals, Toyin, but he must have a really big trophy case. <laughs> but uh, So Phelps is going to the Olympics. Uh, some other Olympic news of note, the United States will hold its uh, track and field trials beginning tomorrow, Friday, in the northwestern U.S. city of Eugene, Oregon. It's going to run about 10 days, Toyin. And so we're going to see a lot of the top American athletes uh, competing in Eugene. One uh, great story uh, in Eugene, though, Toyin, is a hurdler, Aries Merritt. He's the reigning Olympic champion at 110 meters. Last September, he had a kidney transplant. His sister donated one of her kidneys to Aries, and now he's going to try to make it to Rio uh, with basically with his sister's kidney. Uh, his times have slowly improved, but definitely some question marks whether he's going to make the U.S. team. Uh, but, yeah, he, if he can do it, he's going to be one of the uh, great stories in Rio to win. Well, Sonny, just hold on. Hold on a bit. I'm still going to come back to you to talk to us about a basketball team that is preparing – uh, for the Olympic Games right there at your backyard. But before I do that, let's just pause for about a minute. I'll come back to you, Sonny. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 